Hello my beautiful people, Coach Gabby here and today I have an awesome morning anti-bloat routine. Four simple movements that you can do every morning to start your day right, kickstart your metabolism and stretch those muscles after a long night's sleep. Alright, so let's get into it. All right, we're gonna be doing two sets. The first one is more demonstration and explanation, talking you through proper form, and then the second one is going straight through the exercise. So if you think you have proper knowledge of movement and you're ready to just get to it, go ahead and fast forward to that second set. Our first exercise is going to be a torso twist. Our hips are straight, squared forward, and we're just moving our upper body. All right, and we're gonna try to keep our hips in place. You can have your arms in front of you or out to the side with palms facing forward. All right, remember that bend of the knees, chest up, breathing, and we're gonna be doing that for 30 seconds. Ready? Choose your arm position and let's go. Very good, you can go nice and slow if you really need to wake up, you know, your core and your back area. If you feel like you're ready for a little bit more movement, you can speed it up. Just remember we're keeping our hips squared forward. That's the important thing is isolating our upper body from our uh, lower body. Breathing, waking up our systems. Three, two, one. Very good, shake it out, awesome. Next, we're going for a squat reach. Squats in general are just really great for warming up the body. They really target everywhere, you know, your legs, your core, your back, your arms, your arms especially in this one because we're gonna be reaching. So we're starting with our hands up and then we're going to squat, all right? Reach down and then back up. And remember, when we go in our squat position, we're not arching, we're not rounding, we have a nice straight spine, okay? Really important, toes facing forward, feet are parallel to each other. And 30 seconds, let's get it. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you go down. Inhale. Exhale, very good. Awesome job. Good morning to our bodies, to our breath. We're gonna have a wonderful, beautiful day. We're grateful to be awake, to be alive, to be able to move our bodies. Three, two, one, very good, shake it out, awesome. Next, we either have jack steps or jumping jacks. I'm giving you two variations, one without jumping in case you can't because of your knees or any other reason why. And the other one is for people who are feel capable and able and wanna push themselves a little bit more. Um, so for jumping jacks, we start with our feet and hands together and we jump out. Arms come up, legs separate, go to the side and then come all the way back in. All right, that's our jumping jacks. And then for a step jack, you can either just step to the side and then back in, other side and back in, or if you wanna do kind of a kick butt jack, so butt kicks jacks, you can go like so. So we're gonna step out, and then the other leg's gonna come up, and then in, up, in, up. So our feet are wide apart, our hands are together, and when they separate, you kick that butt together, but, all right, different options for you, different levels, different reasons why we do them. And 30 seconds, let's go. I like this one because I feel like it's really opening my chest when I come in and out. And it also is a nice stretch on the quads here when you go for that butt kick. Breathing in your nose, out your mouth. Very good. Nice bend in the knees when you come down. Even if you're coming here, bend in the knees. Here, bend in the knees, all right? Also here, even when we're stepping, bend in the knees, bend in the knees. All right, never locking those knees. All right, three, two, one. 
Very good, shake it out. <sighs> nice deep breath, we had a little bit of cardio there. Our heart rate is up, calories are burning, and we're going to finish our first set strong with a step reach, okay? So, our feet are together, you're gonna have hands on your hips, and we're gonna step out to the side, and with the same arm, you're gonna reach, all right? So nice oblique stretch here to the side. But even in this position, you're not splayed out, your rib cage is closed. We have a nice controlled core. All right, and then we're gonna come back in and other side, all right? Alternating for 30 seconds. Remember the control in your body, moving with intention. 30 seconds, let's go. Very good. Breathing, so important to deliver oxygen to your muscles. Awesome, we're almost there. Then we get to set two, where there's less talking, more doing, you know what to do. So we're just gonna get straight to it. Almost there. Three, two, one and very very good that was it we're going to take a second grab a drink of water and get ready for set number two go ahead and take a look at the time on this video so that you know where to come back to next time you're here if you don't need the demonstration anymore you can get right to the exercises so just bookmark that time right there and we're good to go for next time Alrighty, my beautiful people, set number two. If you watch the demo, you know what to do. Less talking, more doing. Go ahead and enjoy the background music. Go ahead and enjoy this beautiful day here in the background. And let's get to it. Torso twist, 30 seconds. Let's go. forget to breathe. You can go at your own pace, slow it down if you need to. All right, three, two, one. Very good, shake it out. Five seconds of active recovery and then we're getting to our squat reach, ready? Feet hip width apart and let's go. there push through you're doing great three two one finish it out and very good five seconds very good jack steps or jumping jacks or butt kick jacks choose your variation and let's go. Very good, don't forget to breathe in your nose, out your mouth. Three, two, one, shake it off. Active recovery, I like to do a little walk around, kind of get that energy moving. And last but not least, our step reach. 30 seconds, let's go. Remember to close your rib cage, even though we're reaching out, close that rib cage, feel that nice stretch here in the obliques.
Almost there, you got this. Three, two, one. Very good, that was it. That was your morning anti-bloat routine. Four simple movements. If you're ready for another set, go ahead, rewind, do it again, you got this. I recommend one to four sets if you feel comfortable and able. If not, check out our channel. We have so many awesome videos to share with you. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell so you know when we post, and I hope to see you in the next one.